This time I'm going to trigger a trouble code with the uh, exhaust sensor disconnected and uh, then reset the codes again. The only difference is this time I'm going to use a uh, little built-up box which is essentially the same functionality as the uh, switch. The only difference is uh, inside the resistor is 10 kilo ohms because uh, anything less than 10 kilo ohms seems to interfere with the output from the TPS when the engine's running normally. I'm now going to start the engine and trigger a trouble code. One thing you can see looking at the display is you can actually see the voltages coming out of the TPS. So I'll squeeze the throttle, see the voltages rise all the way up to at the top very close to 4.70 volts, which is, uh, as far as I know, the optimum maximum output from the TPS at fully squeezed throttle. There's quite a bit of slop in the throttle cable mechanism and the uh, throttle body shaft linkages and even the TPS itself. So all the slop adds up and you often get voltages that are a little less than 4.70. Um, that's just normal. And idle supposed to be about 0 0.350 volts. It's often higher. 0.4 volts or 0.45 is not uncommon. Now what I must do is disconnect the actual TPS for this particular system to work. Remove the lanyard. Flip the switch to code clearing mode, which provides uh, Full voltage on the TPS signal pin, 5 volts. Now we watch for the code. That was code 41 and code 43. Now we flip the switch down. Wait for the code to stop. Switch up, down, two, three, four, five. Remove the lanyard. Code should be cleared. Now I'll flip the switch back up. Ready to read codes again. Lanyard back in. One, one, codes are cleared. Remove the lanyard. That's it.